is up division 2 agents this is gamer for life back with another division 2 build video in this video i wanted to showcase the build that i am using for the global event that is active at the moment reanimated we know this global event is all about getting headshots as we see in the details New enemy tech is causing hostiles to reanimate after death. Enemies that are killed will be body shocked to life by automated external defibrillator vests. They will get up and rejoin the fight to wreak havoc for a second time. The only way to stop this reanimation is to disconnect the brain response with a headshot kill. The resulting cloud will heal and strengthen nearby agents and corrode anyone equipped with an AED. So not only will the cloud from the headshot heal us, but it will cause damage to the enemies as well. And this build will make this global event a cakewalk. Now this is a build that can be used like this regardless if this global event was active or not and will help you fly through heroic content. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So you can see the way we have this set up. You know, we're going with the uh, perfect headhunter and determine again because this just makes headshots super easy. And let's go over those two talents first. So with the perfect headhunter, it is the chain killer Walker and Harris named item. Brand set bonus gives us plus 5% weapon damage. Road with max weapon damage, crit chance, headshot damage with a max headshot damage mod. The talent is perfect headhunter. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blows damage. Damage is capped to 800% of your weapon damage. This is raised to 1250 if your headshot damage is greater than 150%, which of course ours is. Now that coupled with the Termin on our pistol, and we have it on our M1A as well because we do utilize this gun too. And the talent, again, the Termin, after killing an enemy with a headshot, the next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. So once we get that headshot, initial headshot, it's gonna proc the head hunter, and then, which is gonna make the next shot extremely powerful, which is why it's going to start a, a chain of headshots, and it will continuously proc with that determined talent. So there was two ways that I did run this. I'm gonna tell you this because, you, you know, some of you out there may not have this named Oh, I'm sorry, this exotic holster. So another way that I was running it is with the claws out. Now this is kind of a unicorn claws out. I know a lot of people is looking for one with headshot damage already on it, but if you're able to come across one of these, this works perfectly fine too. Now if you just wanted to switch to something else, say you don't even have the claws out or the exotic, another way you can go, which I believe is a piece that you can craft, is because I don't have this piece yeah, I don't have this piece at all on anything. So that would be definitely a, a nice piece to put on because it does give you plus 15% headshot damage as well. And yeah, so that's uh, just three options for you. This is probably the easiest option since it's far more accessible. But the main reason that I'm using this exotic, and we'll go over it, max weapon damage, uh, weapon handling, and headshot damage. Talent is quick draw. While your pistol is holstered, gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100. When you swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage to anywhere you hit. Now, you can't just hit an enemy anywhere and it procs chain killer and determine because it doesn't. It's just gonna give you the headshot damage numbers. So the whole reason I have this is for my pistol shot, the initial headshot, because you have to get the initial headshot to start chaining these talents. It's gonna be a guaranteed headshot. Now without this holster, I mean, it usually won't, it'll only take you a couple of shots, maybe three or four shots if you're, you know, dealing with a heavy. But what this does is it just makes that initial shot a guaranteed headshot because it has so much damage. And then you can just start, you know, that just starts the chain and you just start one-shotting everybody. 
And the rest of the gear pieces, we do have the Punch Drunk. This gives us plus 20% pistol damage for the brand set bonus. Road with max weapon damage. Crit chance with a max headshot damage mod. And this name piece gives us plus 20% headshot damage. And then our backpack is a Providence backpack. 15% headshot damage for the brand set bonus. Road with max weapon damage, headshot damage, weapon handling with a max headshot damage mod. And the talent we do have on it is Vigilance. Increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for four seconds. Then we have the Contractor Gloves. Max weapon damage, damage to armor and headshot damage. And Fox's Prayer. Max weapon damage, damage to target out of cover and headshot damage. And of course we have these two pieces for that mu multiplicative damage. Like I said, uh, this piece, the Hasberg, gives you 15% headshot damage for the brand set bonus. But when I was testing it, I actually get more damage with the 8% multipl multiplicative damage on these pieces than I would changing one of them to that Hasberg piece. So that's why I kept these. Now in the gameplay, you'll see two different, like I said, I was running it two different ways. The first way I was running it with the claws out and I had the bulwark shield and I was strictly using the pistol. But I switched it when I when I put the holster on, I'm like, well, the holster needs to charge the pistol up. So I'm gonna need another gun that can, you know, get me headshots in the meantime. So that's why I went with the M1A, and this is 12% for the expertise road, road with max rifle damage, crit damage, and damage to target out of cover with the talent determined that we already went over. So yeah, in some of the gameplay, you'll see me just one shot and everybody with this gun as well. And I changed to this shield, that way I can, I'd be able to use the shield with my M1A. Then the pistol has plus 10% weapon damage for the expertise roll. Also rolled with max pistol damage and damage to target out of cover. And we can take a look at the stats. So for the M1A, we are sitting at 198% headshot damage and for the pistol, 240% headshot damage. How is it that different? Where are all the extra headshot damages coming from? I don't know. I mean, everything is the same as the M1A. The only thing I can think of is this must be charged up while I'm sitting here. I don't know. The only thing that matters is both of these pieces are over that 150% headshot damage cap to get this to 1250 damage. So the skills that I am using, I do have the Reviver Hive. I mean, we are all red. So just in case we get in a sticky situation, we'll have that extra life. So this does have 10% range for the expertise roll and the mods plus 10% Reviver Armor Repair plus 5% range plus 5% duration. And then for our shield, the mods we have for this, 4.9% shield health, 5% shield health, and 5% holstered regen. All right, we can take a look at the specialization. I am using the gunner. Would you look at that? Wow. So again, just make sure that the guns you're using are equipped. My mistake, it is what it is, I guess. So you're getting that extra 15% weapon damage luckily i did have the pistol um equipped anyway so the gunner killing enemies grant 10 percent armor every third reload is 50 percent faster armor kits repair 100 percent armor and grant 30 percent bonus armor for 10 seconds the, the banshee pulse in the two mod slots if you choose to use that Generate 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds party members recover 5 percent 10% weapon handling while not moving need to be motionless for one second. 50% pulse resistance and rate of fire increases by 5% on kill for five seconds. So yeah, that is the build, my friends. Like I said before, this build makes it extremely easy for you to run through this global event and collect those stars for named item caches, exotic caches, or whatever you are wanting to use them for. So yeah, and on top of that, with the head exploding, getting that cloud of healing for us and damage for the enemy, it looks pretty cool too. 
So yeah, that's going to do it for this build video. I do have some gameplay coming up, so stay tuned for that. Hope everyone is doing good and staying safe out there. And as always, my YouTube family, take it easy.